Hi everyone, I'm Dave Aronchek, head of open source machine learning strategy here at Azure. And I'm gonna be talking to you today about machine learning operations or ML ops as it's called. ML ops is a way to recognize what it means to actually bring your machine learning to production. Today, data scientists basically start on their laptops and experiment. And they have to experiment a lot because machine learning is great but it's really hard to find the solution you're looking for. So you may stay on your laptop quite some time before you ever get to a formal dev environment or bring it to operations. The reality is that data scientists today will often start on their laptops because that's the environment they know best. And they work and experiment on those machine learning solutions in order to get the answers that they're looking for that their businesses need. But today, too often, those solutions are thrown over the wall to development environments or operations environments and violate a lot of best practices when it comes to good software engineering. That's where MLOps comes in. MLOps or ML operations or DevOps for ML is a way to bring machine learning to great software best practices. MLOps gives you a ton of advantages over just packaging up a model and throwing it over the wall. First, it gives you reproducibility and auditability. You know that that model was built from a very specific pipeline and checked into code that you will always be able to go back and audit if you need to in the future. Second, because you're using DevOps, you'll be able to do automated validation and checking to make sure that it's profiled to the exact environment that you need before you roll it out. You're also able to bring in important tools around uh, eliminating bias or enabling explainability. And finally, it enables automation and observability. What you wanna do is as you roll it out to production, you wanna wire it up with uh, the correct tools to make sure that things are operating correctly in production, and you wanna pull all those information back to your models to train better in the future. Today, what you'll see is something like the following. On the lower left-hand side, you have a data scientist who takes their model and throws it over the wall at an app developer who ends up cascading it all the way down to production. But that data scientist doesn't know what's going on. They don't see drift, they don't see performance. Oftentimes they're off in their own silo working on their next model. What you really wanna do is start making the process more reproducible. Instead of just throwing it over the wall, you check a model into a model store that can be compared against various different models. Then you'll add validation steps and you'll wanna validate not just after you check the model in, but as you roll it out to production to make sure that things haven't changed. And finally, when you roll it out to production, you'll wanna use sophisticated deployment tools like A-B testing and Canary, and then feed all that information back into the original model store for future use. A complete ML ops solution will handle all of these various components with rich services that handle deployment anywhere, not just to uh, the cloud, but the edge and the intelligent edge. And at Azure, we're very serious about ML ops and have been investing in a number of very important services to make ML ops easier. Already today, we have a whole set of solutions to make ML ops much, much easier. First, we allow you to describe your infrastructure as code, so you can declare exactly what size deployment for training or inference or any other solution that you want in code uh, using SDKs and the CLI. Second, we have the Azure DevOps pipeline, which uh, richly handles the ability to push through from code to production. And finally, we have testing, releasing services uh, that, that are ML aware, including support for things like R and Python and MLflow and Kubeflow. What I wanna talk though about is a few key components uh, related to Azure DevOps. Azure DevOps already supports a number of ML ops solutions and it is used millions and millions of times a day uh, across the, the spectrum of technology. We support any language, any platform, any cloud. Uh, it's very extensible and allows you to write raw code if you would like. And we support rich contain, uh, cloud native solutions like containers and Kubernetes. 
But as we move forward, we've also invested in making Azure DevOps ML aware. And we're going to allow you to, to support a number of the key elements of an MLOps pipeline with Azure DevOps. For example, we give you a whole set of first-class uh, model training tasks, including things like installing your Conda environments, unit testing, rolling out to Azure ML, uh, or rolling out to any deployment you'd like. Second, we offer gating and provisioning based on validation and profiling. So you can look at your model and determine you know, what the best amount of C uh, cores, CPU, memory are uh, in order to run your model. And finally, we help you with automated deployment. Uh, we allow you to package your model using containers, validate and profile after you've uh, containerized, uh, and then roll out to things like uh, ACI and AKS, uh, some of our richest, most cloud-native technologies. Altogether, the components of Azure DevOps and Azure ML work together to make rolling out an MLOps solution more elegant than ever. And it fits in with our overall rich portfolio of machine learning tools, all the way up from pre, uh, the, the most sophisticated pre-trained models down to machine learning focused and deep learning focused infrastructure. End to end, it is an entire cycle. Azure MLOps is designed to help you bring your machine learning to production.